on Fox, dangerous police work in the St. Louis area being made safer tonight. Fox 2's Andy Banker reports it's a matter of heroes helping heroes. We're on assignment with St. Charles County Regional SWAT, and this assignment is different than any other. Quite a story about how this is coming together. Police search war! Police search war! About 70 SWAT members are going through a drug warrant barricaded subject scenario at a house in St. Peter's. They're here because of the guy who completely renovated the place, which is currently up for rent. Granite countertops, stainless appliances. Dusty Sanders rehabs houses. He's retired from the St. Charles County Ambulance District. He was also a SWAT medic. Five years ago, the generic steel framed building where they used to train suddenly became unavailable. And I just kind of silently raised my hand in the back and said, hey, I own houses in the neighborhood. I have several vacants that we're rehabbing right now. Why don't we move our training to there and continue our day like nothing ever happened? We have shots right down the hallway. His houses have now hosted more than 100 training missions for local and state police, along with U.S. Marshals. It definitely is more real life. Uh, we'll take any house or uh, office building that we can get uh, to better prepare ourselves. All little nooks and crannies, door behind the door. Sanders is on the board of the St. Louis Hero Network, which promotes businesses of first responder and military families. A perfect match for Faster House, which buys rehab St. Louis area houses and now offers them for training too. We're just one piece of it, right? We just have the real estate. We buy a lot of houses and a lot of them are, are uh, vacant, so we can use it for our training, which is super cool. Neighbors agree they share the SWAT members' goal. Everybody out alive, yes sir. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.